All right. Good uh, morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on uh, wherever you are in the world. And welcome to uh, the next episode in our uh, advanced technology webinar series. Um, well, maybe some of you have uh, attended some other webinars, and uh, it's a pleasure to uh, to see you all again. And it's a uh, it's a great honor to uh, have the opportunity today to tell you about uh, the new update that we did for our CMail software, uh, which comprises quite a lot of new and exciting functional exercise games for therapeutic uh, sessions. Uh, my name is uh, Frans Steenbrink. I am at the moment in uh, Houten in the Netherlands. And uh, for the next half hour, 45 minutes, I will be presenting and uh, we will have some time for questions uh, afterwards. I hope that everybody is uh, safe and healthy and managing in these quite difficult uh, difficult times. So, um, well, let's uh, let's start. Uh, those of you who are familiar with our uh, with our webinar know how we work. We use uh, the GoToWebinar software. Uh, we have our our session. Um, everybody's microphones is switched off. But uh, please do post your questions, which you can write in the in the question box as indicated here um, we will answer uh, some questions at the end of this webinar and uh, we will for sure answer all of your questions uh, offline after the webinar so please do not hesitate uh, also if you want to give any comments or remarks please put them in the box we are really really more than happy with uh, with all of your feedback whether you like it or if you don't like it or suggestions or questions for your uh, therapy, uh, for your research or about the different devices and the software. So to get to the point immediately, today I will be talking about the software, the control software and the application software for the CMail, uh, the different devices. We have the CMail VR Plus, the CMail, and now also recently the CMail Hero. Uh, not all applications can be used for all the different configurations, but um, we are very proud and I'd like to, uh, to thank our development team, our testers, our clinical application managers, and also the market who have provided their input for these updates uh, over the last couple of months and years uh, that we are now able to launch four new and exciting exercise games for walking functional walking rehabilitation, combining both the front projection, the virtual reality on the front projection screen, and the really advanced and patented uh, belt projection on the walking surface of the treadmill. Uh, we have one uh, balanced training applications to support uh, advanced uh, balance exercises in combination with cognitive loading and dual tasking. And we have two, and I'm very excited about that, two auditory cueing games in which we use uh, auditory cues, music and sound to motivate and engage the patient and also to improve and influence asymmetric walking patterns. And finally, we have improved our Stroop test, which is an assessment uh, for testing uh, the ability to perform cognitive dual tasks with motor function. Well, as uh, some of you might know, the CMail, it, it's an instrument, the treadmill, uh, which allows you to measure the uh, spatial temporal parameters, so the quality of the walking pattern, uh, and combining that with augmented reality projected on the walking surface and virtual reality in front of the patient. And it's specifically designed to support patients with impaired walking conditions. And those can be due to different kinds of conditions. So, of course, elderly with an increased risk of fall can benefit from this device because they learn how to uh, respond to environmental changes like obstacles or cues being projected on the walking surface or in front of the patient or uh, the elder, elder individual, but also other uh, motor deficits uh, affecting uh, affected uh, uh, balance and gait um, by neurological orthopedic muscular, cardiovascular, or other type of conditions. Just some examples uh, in which motor behavior can be affected after an amputation, cerebral uh, disorders, Parkinson's disease, spinal cord injury, stroke, also other type of orthopedic disorders, 
and of course recently very accurate also motor behavior after COVID-19 uh, uh, infection can be treated with the semen. So it can be used in, uh, in different hospital settings, outpatient clinics, and also different research uh, labs to, to study the effect of the different type of uh, applications. Some examples of what these patient conditions look like. Um, orthopedic disorders in this video, you see Mike Jones, who I had the pleasure to meet several times, uh, a patient who learned about the CML in the Morello Clinic in the UK who's very, very happy with this type of advanced technology. It really supported him after his motor accident, which resulted, unfortunately, in this, uh, in this amputation. Uh, and the CML really brought him to a level that he can actually perform his greatest hobby was golf. He's a semi-professional, um, and the CML helped him to, be, to bring him to a level where he could actually do that again. And he uh, claimed, and this video can be found on our website and on uh, YouTube, he claims that uh, uh, without the CML, without this technology, he could never have reached this level of functional independence. Another example, neurological disorder. Uh, this is a partial spinal cord injury patient uh, uh, filmed in the, in the clinic during a therapeutic session. And this is actually interesting because of two reasons. One, because in a partial spinal cord injury, the patient has to learn to activate and fire as many neurons as possible to trigger different muscle groups as much as still available because of the lesion. And that is, of course, what he is doing there in a safe and challenging and motivating environment. But on the other hand, you see that he is also performing with a uh, walking aid, with an exoskeleton in this case. And you see that he is te testing and learning how to use the exoskeleton again in a very safe environment but still being challenged to the maximum of his capacities. So interesting because of two different reasons. Finally, already mentioned elderly. Uh, we are living in an aging society and unfortunately getting older results uh, can come with, with different disorders uh, and uh, changes in the motor behavior and uh, people uh, uh, with a higher age have a higher risk of falling and this can also be measured and trained using the different applications on the CML, which offer ecologically, so realistic, valid uh, environments to respond to obstacles or uh, to place the feet according to environmental changes, which is needed, of course, to reduce risks or fall risk. 